Hi guys, I'm, I'm trying different video formats for this semester, so um, I'll find one that I like the best and kind of stick with it. Um, for now, we're trying YouTube. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about time management and study habits. Um, this class is very hard, and time will get away from you before you know it, and you can fall behind very quickly if you're not managing your time correctly. Um, I've been reading the introduction so far, and it seems like you guys are all very busy. Um, as we all are, juggling other classes, you're juggling a full-time job, you're juggling a family life, um, and sometimes other things in between. So time can really get away and you tend to keep pushing off the studying, keep pushing off the schoolwork. My husband is actually in grad school right now, so I know all about uh, pushing off assignments as it's Sunday night at midnight and he's struggling to finish a 12-page paper that he's known about all semester. So. Anyways, uh, what I would like for you to spend some time doing, and this is for extra credit and I'll have the details in writing for you, um, I would like for you to, to write out a schedule where you're actually time blocking um, a typical week for yourself. Now I do this on a weekly basis because it helps me manage my own time. I own a small business, I work two part-time jobs, I homeschool my kids, they're in a, t a ton of activities, I, I have a lot of things going on, so I found doing something like this really helps me manage my time better and it and it helps um, me stay on track so that I'm not multitasking and and in fact kind of spinning the hamster wheel so to speak. I'm actually making progress instead of doing too many things at once uh, which I know so many of us tend to do. Uh, so let me explain what I mean. I got this whiteboard and excuse my left hand writing, my right arm's still broken, I can't really write with it yet. Um, anyways, uh, you can use a sheet of paper, a notebook, it doesn't matter, but I wrote out the week Sunday through Saturday and I time block. Now I tend to do two hour time blocks. Some people like a half hour time block, some people one hour, whatever works for you is fine. Uh, but two hours has kind of been my my money area, like that. that's where I tend to be more successful. So every day I can make sure that I'm up in and moving by 8 a.m. I'm more of a night owl type of a person, so every day I have do my breakfast with the kids, do my emails, and take care of my bunnies and animals. Um, I have a little farm mat that I'm running here. So that's every morning from 8 to 10. Then from 10 to 12, um, I either have physical therapy or I'll go to the gym or it's family time, depending on the day of the week, and then so on and so forth. So you can see how I've mapped out my time here throughout the entire week as I disappear behind this. And you can see a lot of my work I tend to do at night. Emails and grading papers is at night. But I also have time in the middle of the day where I'm, where's my finger, there it is, uh, where I'm doing emails as well every day during lunch just to, to keep up with all my online classes because I'm teaching four, four online sections this semester. So I don't want the time to get away from me either. Um, so time blocking is a way for you to really look at your schedule and see where this class fits in. Uh, the federal definition of a credit hour basically says you have to spend a certain amount of time outside of the class doing classwork, which is hard when you're in an online class because you're really not in class at all um, other than our lab meeting. So um, with that said, typically you would be asked to spend about eight hours outside of class on schoolwork. But because this is a, a lab class and it's a hybrid, you're really expected to be spending somewhere between, between 10 to 12 hours outside of class on schoolwork. So what I want you to do in your mapping for extra credit, again I'll have it all in writing, is take your calendar, take a sheet of paper, a whiteboard like this, whatever, map out a week and see if you can squeeze 12 hours of study time in there. Make sure you leave space for your lab class, put your work schedule in there, you know, soccer practice, whatever else you have going on, but make sure you can actually fit those 12 hours into your week. And hopefully, once the gears get grinding, once everything, um, once you kind of get the routine of the class down a little bit, uh, you will find that those 12 hours are, are coming much easier. Um, and it's much better, I will say, to spread out the time than to have, say, six hours on Saturday and six hours on Sunday, because that's no fun. I, I have a busy life, but if you look at my Saturdays and Sundays, they're both filled with family time and a little bit of work in there, um, which is something that you should be aiming for as well. You don't want to totally ruin your life um, outside of school because I know we're all, we're all busy, normal people outside of class. So uh, I'll have the details in writing, but that's what I'm looking for with your time blocking schedule. See ya.